Hi everyone! This time we're going to learn a very simple way to animate a car. Actually, there's a lot of ways you can do to animate a car, even in a more realistic ways. And maybe I will make a tutorial about it in the future. But this time the car is only going to be the part of an architecture presentation. So we don't want to spend too much time on the car since the focus of our attention will be our building. Now we start. You will need a car model for this. But if you don't have one, you can make this with the size of a car. The car consists of a car body. It has to be in one object or one group. And then we need four individual wheels. The first thing we're going to do is to create a dummy to control this car. Go to create, then helpers, then dummy. Align it to the X center of the car. Left view. Align it to the wheel. Copy it to the front wheel. And then align it again. This dummy is going to control the wheel. Copy one more dummy that will steer the front wheel. And one more for the whole car. We can make it bigger using scale. Then align it to the center of the car. Now group both back wheels. Then we're going to give the animation controls. First, the car body. To control the car's position, go to Animate, Constraint, Position Constraint. Link this to the dummy. Go to Motion. Keep initial offset. Using position constraint, the car's position will depend on the dummy's position. But if you rotate the dummy, it won't affect the car. So to control the rotation, we're going to need orientation constraint. But before that, we need to make sure that the pivot point between the car's body and the dummies are at the same direction. So adjust it first. Use the rotation. Right click. Minus 90. Then we go to Animate, Constraint, Orientation Constraint. Then go to Motion, and switch from War to Local. Now when we rotate this, the body will also rotate. Next we're going to control the back wheels. First link dummy to the car. Then also link the wheels to the car. Then when we move the dummy, the back dummy and the back wheel will also move. Next, isolate the tires and dummy. Link from the wheels to the dummy. Now if we rotate the dummy, the wheels will follow. Next, we're going to control the front wheels. Link the dummy to the car's body. For the wheels, 
First, we have to check the pivot, so it will be the same as the car's pivot. We can see here that it's on the opposite direction. So we need to rotate it. The other one too. Now the middle axis of the wheels, the red one, has to be on the opposite direction to each other. So we're going to mirror it. And then rotate the objects. We have to do this be because we cannot mirror a pivot. Now link the wheels to the car's body. When we move the main dummy, all of the car's part will also move. Then we're going to direct the front wheels to the steer dummy. For that, we're going to use Look at Constraint. Then go to Motion, choose one of the wheels, keep Initial Offset, also the other wheels. If we move the steer dummy, the wheel, instead of moving with the dummy, will move towards the dummy. Since we've already used look at constraint, now we cannot use link for the front dummy to rotate it, since link is stronger than look at constraint. Therefore, we're going to use the other constraint, which is orientation constraint. First, choose all of the front part, hide the rest, then use orientation constraint, Go to Motion, then choose Local. Then rotate it. Okay. Now we're going to connect the back dummy to the front dummy. So we only need to control one of the dummy for wheel rotation. For that, we're going to use wire parameter. Look at the left side to choose which axis that we're going to rotate. In this case, we're going to rotate to X. Right click, wire parameter. Transform, X rotation, and the same for the other dummy. Connect it, then update. Look at the wheels now. If we rotate it to the X axis, the back wheels will also move. But if you rotate it to the y-axis, it won't affect the back wheels. Now your car is ready to be animated. I've prepared a path line here so the car will also move along this path. Pick the dummy, go to motion, assign controller, pick position, then click here. Pick path constraint, OK, then add path, pick the line, click follow, Y, then flip. Do the same to the dummy. Follow, Y, then flip. Right click on the outside. Pick only the dummy.
Use wire parameter once more. Right click, wire parameter, transform, position, percent. Now we can add the position of the steer dummy. For your car, you probably have to add the percent on the right. It depends on the master. Okay, this means the dummy will also be ahead of the car's dummy about 18%. Play animation. You can see here that the wheels haven't rotated yet. So stop the animation, go to zero. Turn on auto key, go to 15, then rotate the dummy any number. Then turn off the auto key. Now click here. Pick the first dummy, then click this X rotation animation. Change the number to 360. Click on the outside, then back again. To make the movement smoother, we can use linear. To repeat the wheel's rotation, go to controller, out of range types, use relative repeat. Close it. Play animation. Now your car is ready. Hope you like it. And don't forget to subscribe. Good luck!